Hey people, my name is Kazmir and I want to talk about everything under the sun, but today, right now, we're going to talk about internet services. Let's go. When internet services first came out, who was the one, the, the one carrier you thought of? America Online, right? I remember America Online. See, I was the guy in the chat rooms lying to women and saying I'll send them a pic and they'll send me a picture of them and I never sent anything back. I used to lie, I'd say I was like 6'4", 220, played basketball, I was nine, saying I was 19 at the time, but I was actually like 13, lying to some grown woman. But that's neither here nor there. We're talking about this internet service of today and the providers today. The two providers I'm having a problem with as we speak right now, at this moment, at this second. And the two I'm going to be talking about in this vlog is... Verizon DSL and Clearwire Internet. Let's start with Clearwire. If you want to be cheap, you can go to Clearwire and you don't have to sign a contract. Clearwire is month to month. At first, they were contracted. And let me tell you my story of how I got suckered into the contract. I went to Clearwire looking for some cheap internet. I'm not going to lie. So I went there, they told me $60. I said, okay, cool. So when I got it, I didn't realize uh, by putting my numbers, you know, to my credit card in their uh, system, that was my signature on the contract, and I didn't know that. So I've been locked in them for two years. Two years of bad service. So now I will be off the contract this month in May, and I, man, I send my prayers up because that that's a that's a miracle. I'm out the contract and on a month to month basis if I decide to stay with them, but I probably won't. So last month in April, me thinking ahead, I said, wait, let me see if I could get on Verizon Fios. See, I called them. They were really excited that I wanted to come aboard and get away from Claire. But what I did know is they don't have Verizon Fios in my area, in my building at all. So when I found that out, they told me about their DSL internet. So I said, why not? It has to be better than Clear." So after that phone call, the very next day, they sent me the hardware for it, which is the router and the hookups. What I intended to do was get my activation date for Verizon closer to the date where the contract would expire with Clear. So eventually, I had the two internet services in here at the same time. Also, with Verizon, I had to get a home phone number. Didn't understand it but I had a home phone number for like a good four days. I know I would never use that, I have a cell phone, why would I want that? So when my activation date came for the DSL, I did a series of tests, like playing HD video, things like that. It was horrible, basically, it was horrible. So putting it through more of my tests, I put it through Warstar Hip Hop. So. Warstar Hip Hop has a lot of videos and a lot of content on it due to Flash or whatever. It couldn't load it at all, really. It just was way too slow. Way too slow. Couldn't play HD video. Couldn't go on Warstar Hip Hop. Wow, what did I just pay for? What did I just put into my apartment? Why didn't I wait for files? I don't know. I just was hopeful that DSL was faster. Mind you, it's coming from the telephone line. How fast can that be? Because we all know how slow dial-up used to be. So the last thing I did in the last straw, I put both of the services through a speed test. My Wi-Fi was named Can't Steal My Wi-Fi. That was for Clearwire. I ran Clearwire through the test at speedtest.net. It pinged at 43 megabytes per second. For those that don't know what ping is, ping is the time it takes for the information to go to a server back to your computer. And the lower the number, basically the, the faster it is, I guess. Just correct me if I'm wrong. And the download speed was 5.40 megabytes per second. And the upload speed was 0 0.90 megabytes per second, which is horrible. Anything to the right of the decimal point, we all know that was bad since like third grade if you paid attention. So through my wishful thinking, I went to the Verizon DSL's Wi-Fi signal and tested that. Verizon DSL pinged at 47 megabytes per second. The downloaded megabytes per second was 2.82 megabytes per second, which is horrible. 
and the upload was 0.36 megabytes per second. That's not even a whole megabyte. It's not even close. At least Claire was slightly close to a whole megabyte per second uploaded. So that means that I will be taking about four hours to upload this four to five minute video, which sucks. And not everybody can go to Comcast. Comcast has great internet, but chances are you owe them money. So you can go with these companies with DSL or with um, Clearwire if you don't do heavy uploading and downloading. So heavy downloading, I would say, is downloading whole albums and downloading like pornos or something. If that's what you do, that's what you do. But downloading like four hour uh, videos, it's, it's horrible. It will, it's not worth it. You might as well not do it at all. For both companies, it's the same thing. They suck, it's horrible. So don't get DSL. If you have files in your area, get files. Cause I seen files at what, 50 megabytes per second uploading and downloading it was crazy. I wish I had that. I'll just upload a video every day so you can see my beautiful face. So my question to you is, what internet service do you have? You can leave that in the comment section and let me know, and let me know your horrible experience, or you could just send me a video of you ranting and raving about whatever internet service you have, and if you're not cheap, you'll get the better internet. So tell me your horror stories, okay? All my links are in the description. Oh, and make sure you check out Social Therapy Magazine. And that's at www.socialtherapystm.com. Do anybody say www anymore? Huh. Well, until then, people, I'll be talking to you.